Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this photograph, and they weren't really asking for help. They were wanting to know how they could grade this on a bottle, so we're thinking glass. But it is pixelized, and it's not going to grade very well. So I just took the liberty of uh, doing it for them and actually sent them the file. There's two ways they could do it. They could have some gray that might not work on the glass. Uh, Normally on gray I would run it twice, but on a rotary device I'm not sure it would line up. So you could definitely do it like this. So I thought I'd just show if I can reproduce this. I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to put P and put it in the center of the page. So let's move these out of the way. It is a pretty good clip art. It's not really trouble tracing. It's couple things you got to think about I've got it I've got it selected now I'm going to resample it's at 300 so it's good but I'm going to convert it to a bitmap but I'm going to use grayscale because black and white's just not going to work let's do black and white that's just not going to work but if you use grayscale it works pretty good it turns the color to grayscale now I'm going to trace the bitmap, outline trace. Clip art seems to work the best for me most of the time. And it's already done it. I'm going to take my original and move it out of the way. Or my trace. So we can just move this out of the way. Let's hit P and put our new one in the center of the page. And let's go group, ungroup objects. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. Our item is only less than two inches wide, so we're going to change our nudge distance to two inches, and we're going to take part of this and just move it over. We don't need that. The, the words didn't, text just does not trace very good. So you're going to have to retype that. But this is really what we're wanting right here, so let's just, See if it's broken apart, and it is. This is what we want. And this is really probably already ready. So all you'd have to do is uh, change the other colors. It's, it's going to leak here because uh, of the gray. But you could change a lot of the, the stuff here. We don't need this interior piece. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this apart again. And see if we can't get these individual parts. And this time I'm going to go down. So I'm clicking down with my arrow key. And I'm getting all the black areas. And you'll understand why in just a second. Sometimes if the parts are real little, you have to zoom in. But just think about it when it disappears that you need it. And, okay, now we're going to take the gray. And let's move it up. That's really another outline. Let's move it down twice. That will work. Let's zoom in here like this so we can see this. Let's click on this gray and move it down. This gray and move it down. And it's basically, they're black. I'm getting the black outline. Let's zoom in here a little bit more. Now, that's pretty good. That's already looking good. We need the gray. So we're going to take the gray now and see if we can't get the gray. And it did. So, we need the airplanes. But they're part of this image. Let's move over and see what it looks like. We could actually use that, but I'm going to left click, right click. And because of the fact that I'm using my nudge distance, I can put it right where I need to. Now I'm going to take, I've got one piece I must have double clicked on. Let's put it back up there. I need a circle, a 
about the size of that. And I don't like this circle anyway. So let's do this. Let's, um, those airplanes are not connected to the circle. And really all I need is, a, is the airplanes. We're going to take this gray. And they shouldn't be connected. But Yep, they are connected. But we can deal with that in a second. Let's go to object break curve apart. Let's get our airplane to move it out of the way for a second. I'm moving it up, up. Let's see if we can get this red line out of the way. Now we can go back and get our airplanes and move them down. Because we can do two things now. We can fill the airplanes in with black, which we will. Get our color fill. We want none on the outline. And that looks pretty good already. You could actually convert this to black, and it might work on the glass better. That would actually work. Now let's group this together, control G. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's get rid of this stuff we don't need anymore. I'll tell you what, let's back up here. Let's grab this and just put it away out of the way. There's a bunch of garbage. So we're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now I need to draw a circle about the size of this circle. So I'm going to take my ellipse tool, holding down the control button, and draw a circle about the size of that circle. I need to expand it out, so I'm going to grab one of the handles. Now we need to move it up just a little bit. And just remember that your nudge factor is set on two inches. So now we can grab that circle and move it over the two inches. And because the, um, the circle or the, the eagle and the other part aren't in the middle, when I hit P, I made a mistake by moving that up. I should have nudged it up. But we can, so we can fix that just by moving. Now let's reduce our nudge factor to 0 0.001. And let's zoom in here so we can kind of see it. And then let's grab our circle and just nudge it around. We need to go up till everything kind of fits. So it would have been a lot better if I would not not have put P and I would have nudged it up because we wouldn't have to do this. Now we'll take our circle, control D and make a duplicate, holding down the shift key. And that's going to expand it from all realms, all ways, evenly. Now what you can do, you can mimic this. This is all one piece. I'm going to group this together. Control G. And, and by moving to the um, putting that P kind of messed me up, but I, I'm close enough. So if you don't use P, it would be a lot better. Take a straight line, a two-point line, and then take where you get a four-way, get your pick tool, and when you see the four-way where you can move it, you can move it to the center. Now let's double-click on it and move our rotation to there. And now let's, whoop. I actually need to grab my line and make it a little bit longer. Okay. We're still in the center, I think. So let's just rotate it to about there. I'm at I'm going to call it 43 degrees. I'll tell you what, let's make it 44 then. Control D and make a duplicate. And I should be able to do that in the top of your head, but 360 plus or plus uh, 44. 
messed that up. And somehow I've got a double. I moved it just a hair. Well, no, it's the other image. So let's get our calculator back. 360 plus 44 minus minus is 316. That's what I thought it was. So we're 317. So let's move this to 316. Now you could do the same thing, but I'm not going to take time the video. Let's move that. We need to put our nudge factor back on two inches. Grab that shape and grab our lines and move them down the two inches. When you use the nudge distance, it works out a lot better. Now let's grab that and move it over. Now let's grab everything and put it back. And I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm only going to do the top. Because whoever's doing I'm doing this for can, can do it on their own. We don't need this outside line. And it, it's hard to click these lines. But what you can do once you've clicked them, you can move down and use your virtual segment delete key on that bottom section. And then move it up. Click that line, move it down, take your virtual segment delete key and delete the part you do not need. Move it back up, grab, tell you what, let's, uh, let's see if this doesn't move out of the way. No, nope, I've got it grouped. Let's ungroup it. I hope this isn't too confusing. Now we need to make these about the thickness of that line and not red. So I'm going to go black. And I'm going to go 0.31. I'm going to move our eagle back up. And there you go. Now in here you just need to do text to path. Now whenever you do these lines that we've separated, you get this edge and it can be fixed. But move your nut. The easiest way to do it is 0.001. Move your nudge factor. And just move them up. They're so thick that all you have to do is get them on that edge. And that's good enough for the video. Now to do text to path, I would control D and make a duplicate of that. And whenever you nudge and you didn't, didn't move, you need to think about you need to nudge back. So it'll be right where it was. I made a duplicate of that line and I'm going to make it now a hairline. I like working with hairlines in red. And then you can use this for text to path. Because if you're trying to put it inside that box, you can get a lot of uh, things going wrong. Let's just, I'm going to go ahead and I'm taking too much time. They're all caps O R T U S S U P. R E M U S. I know from the last one it was about nine points. I'm going to make it thicker. And you could pick your own font here. That's pretty close to that font. Go text to path and put it there till you get that red line. Grab it and go control K. That'll break that away from that. Now you just have your text and just nudge it up the two inches. See, it's a little bit long. Um, I used too, too big of text. Sometimes it's a work. Let's try, let's try that. And then you can nudge this over. It should still work. But for the video, I'm just going to... So let's just back up here. I got my text too big. So let's make this seven point, let's just make it seven point text, text to path, put it in the center, select it all, control K, and then take your text and nudge it up. And it's going to be on the bottom of that line, but that's easily fixed. 
move your nudge factor to 0 0.001 and just nudge this straight up to where you think you can hold down the shift key and it'll go a little bit faster. And that would engrave on glass. So the way, and just real quick, I'm sorry this video is so long. The way I would do the other part would be to convert all this to a, and you know, whenever you're getting, you're getting that line, so put it to the back of the page, grab this, left click, right click, and then fill out anything else you want in black. And you could probably fill in that birth. There's a lot of things you could do. That's too much. But play around with the, doing it negatively. Uh, I personally like, I think this would look the best right there. And since you're doing it on glass and you're no chance of cutting, you could, uh, you don't have to take away the hairline, but I just did. Anyway, so you would do the same thing on the bottom. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.